Welcome to Common Australian Story Time. We're on, on holidays. holidays. This. <laughs> <laughs> and, and why are you here, Luce? Because we're reading this special story that happened ten years ago um, from the, the Brisbane River. River, written by my auntie Diane Lonigan and illustrated by Leo Herrigas. That's right. And Luce has come all the way down from Cairns and we thought what better opportunity to read this book together at the Brisbane River. Excellent work, Luce. All right. It's called Mavis the Amazing Tugboat and it's actually based on what happened here in the 2011 floods 10 years ago. Okay, let's have a look at the blurb. Mavis the Amazing Tugboat based on a true Australian story of courage and determination. A story of a brave river man and his tugboat Mavis, who won the hearts of Australia during the Brisbane 2011 floods. And this book company is Master Little Miracles. Let's have a read. Now you might recognize the background in this picture too from the time of the floods. And it is here, enjoy the book, Diane Lonergan. And it was given to Samo in 2015. Thunder, lightning and roaring, winds swirled and twisted down the coast. The city of Brisbane was about to be hit by a nasty tropical storm. Heavy rain from the storm made the Brisbane River grow wider and wider, higher and higher. On the river, a little tugboat called Mavis was securely moored, but a massive flood had begun. Captain Doug, a quiet but brave tugboat, master and his crew began to worry. Mavis, his trusty tugboat, might work her way loose and be swept away. Mavis wasn't the biggest tug on the river, but Captain Doug loved her because she was not only gentle, but also very strong. With Doug steering, she was able to move in and out of places where the bigger tugs couldn't go. While Captain Doug and his crew were checking on Mavis, they heard a voice over the radio say, A huge section of the river walk has broken away from the bank and is rushing uncontrollably downstream. Now these are big cement chunks. Can you see over the other side, the big walkways that people are walking on right now? This is what we're talking about that got swept away during the floods. This would be really dangerous for all the jetties, ferry terminals and other buildings along the river's edge, as well as any boats trying to move up or down the river. Big slabs of concrete rushing through the water is probably not a good idea. All the while, the river had become a muddy, murky mess, with its water rushing along like a speeding train. A fridge, as well as someone's speedboat, even a toilet, were all twirling and twisting in the wild, surging water. Look out! Here comes a wheelie bin bobbing up and down. It's going past like a torpedo, cried the captain. It was a very scary time for lots of people in Brisbane. A big black strong tug battled its way up river, dodging, churning whirlpools and debris, ready to grab hold of the rogue piece of the river walk. But this tug was too big and powerful and pushed the walkway off track. The big tug had to give up. Worried flood engineers were planning to blow up the piece of river walk that had broken away. However, the explosive the explosive experts had warned it was far too dangerous. Can't really have explosions going off in the water with flooding. Finally, all the experts turned to Captain Doug. We need Mavis's help quickly, the expert said. We've decided that even though she is old and battered, Mavis, the small stumpy nosed tug, is just perfect for this task. So sometimes the small things and the older things might be the best things to use for something. Along the banks of the Brisbane River were large chemical plants and fuel depots. 
The river engineers were anxious about the runaway river wall slamming into these, causing explosions and major destruction. Lives could be lost. Captain Doug and Mavis had been working on the river together as a team for 45 years. What a long time to have the same job. Come on, Mavis, Doug said. They need our help. This could be the ride of our lives. Wow, do you think little Mavis is up for the task? Mavis and her crew battled away, nudging the river walk first to the left, then to the right, back and forth, around the bends in the river. Captain Doug could see bright lights shining through the heavy rain. Where are they coming from? Suddenly, the giant gateway bridge loomed up ahead. Now the gateway bridge is just further around the river bend from where we are now. The captain could now see that the police had stopped all the traffic going across the bridge. They had done this because the wind was so strong and the rain was so heavy. And you see they've stopped there with their police cars standing in the pouring rain. It does not sound like fun. The news steering away and bumping the river walk away from causing damage to other vessels on the river had been tricky. Now, getting under the huge bridge, sure not to crash into any of its pylons, was going to be a much more difficult task. All the while, up in the air, TV news helicopters were buzzing around. Chop, 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 chop. With their TV cameras focused on Mavis, they all waited with eager anticipation. Poor Mavis, now everybody in, the, in Brisbane on the news is watching her. While Captain Doug put on an extra burst of power, he scooted the massive river walk safely under the bridge as carefully and quickly as he could. Good job! On the other side of the bridge, Tugboat Mavis struggled for many hours to finally guide the river walk on to Nudgy Beach at the mouth of the Brisbane River. After it was secured on the beach, the river walk was no longer a danger to anyone. Captain Doug then turned Mavis around and headed back home. Good job, Mavis. Good job, Captain Doug. Back at her home, moorings, the TV cameras, lots of newspaper reporters and the buzzing helicopters from the bridge were all waiting. As Mavis appeared, the crowd roared and clapped. Cheers for Mavis, Doug and crew, they all shouted. You are all heroes. Captain Doug was surprised at all the fuss, the noise, and hullabaloo. Do you like that word? Hullabaloo? What's a hullabaloo, Lucy? <laughs> when you make a lot of noise. <laughs> it's just our job. It's what we do. If we hadn't been there, the river walk would have caused a lot of damage. Captain Doug looked fondly at Mavis and said, You are rough and tough, but you are also an amazing tugboat. It took many weeks for the river to get back to normal, but it finally did. It looks beautiful now. Have a look at it. It's very pretty this afternoon. The port of Brisbane was once again opened. Debris had been cleared away and ferry terminals repaired. Paddle boats, city cats and shipping all returned to the river. No one was happier than Captain Doug and Mavis. Mavis again enjoyed being useful, guiding big barges out to sea. She was truly an amazing tugboat. She, with Doug at her controls and everything running smoothly, the river was again a fun place to be. It was a pleasure to once again see the river flowing gently out to sea. Mavis might be the best tugboat out there. She might be the best tugboat out there. The people of Brisbane wanted to thank Captain Doug Hislop for going into such a dangerous situation and saving the city from even more damage. For his bravery, they awarded him the Queensland's Local Hero of 2012. Mavis had shown that in a really dangerous situation, if you have courage and determination, you can succeed. And at the end of, the, of it here, it's got Mavis by June Jolly. She's written a poem about Mavis. Tugboat Mavis is my name. 
I am small and very strong, short but not so long. I have a snub nose. I smell of diesel and not a rose. I work on the river taking the strain. Captain Doug at the helm, holding the rein. To help other boats manoeuvre objects, Captain Doug steers me with great effect. Doug and I still work the river. We are always there to help and deliver. A rhyme. I love to rhyme all the time. All right, Lucy, that was a very special read. Thank you to your auntie for writing a beautiful story about the Brisbane River floods. Really important piece of history and some really important little people that did a very big job. And happy holidays, everybody. And, of course, we can't forget to... Don't forget to like this video and subscribe down below and click on the notifications <laughs> for more Carmen's Australian stories. Oh, that sounded perfect, Lucia. All right, everybody have a wonderful Easter holiday and that was a super special read. And I didn't think I was going to get to read it with my buddy Lou, so that's extra special for us. Okay, bye everyone. Bye.